Hello, I'm Dr. Jeanette Raymond, psychologist and psychotherapist, relationship expert, here to talk to you about the shock that you might experience when your partner suddenly tells you out of the blue that the relationship is over and they want to leave. I've had several clients come for help and understanding and some kind of stability after their partner has told them that things are not working out and they can't um, continue in the relationship. So somehow that person has been in the dark about what their partner was uh, not happy about in the relationship. And I'm going to give you a couple of examples. Um, I saw uh, a man in his uh, 60s who had been married for 30 some years and he loved his wife a lot. He was a good family man, but he had a fear of talking about his feelings. You know? uh, they did things together. They were a great couple. Everybody thought they were a good match, but he never had an, a, a wish or an, a desire to share his feelings with his wife. And at the time when she told him she wanted to leave him, that's one of the things that was a problem for her, that the, she couldn't relate and get close to him because he wouldn't talk about his feelings, so it made it hard for her to talk about hers, and when she did talk about hers, he would get upset and feel that he couldn't do enough to um, understand and support her, so he would kind of avoid the feelings area, and she would feel pushed away, let out, you know, let lose somewhere else and eventually she couldn't take it anymore and had to leave and find uh, something else and he was just completely distraught he couldn't understand it he would said he would do anything to save the marriage uh, whatever it took he came to therapy but um, he realized that he would really have to get in touch with his feelings and that was so scary for him that he uh, couldn't continue uh, in another case, I had a, a woman who'd been married 15 years. You know, she'd brought up a family. She had thought she had the perfect marriage. Um, uh, both of them worked. They adored their children. They were a good couple. Both their families liked them and were very involved with them. So it came as a massive shock to her when her husband told her one day that he had been seeing somebody else and he wa wanted out of the marriage. And when I talked to her about it and obviously helped her with her distress and her anger and her fear that she'd never find anyone again and how could she cope and all the rest of it, what I discovered was that she never talked about her feelings. She never told him how she felt if he was late coming home or if she enjoyed something with him. She told me that they had fun together, they did a lot together, yes, but they went kind of along parallel tracks. They never united in terms of having, sharing an experience together, what it was like, whether it was good or bad or exciting or fearful or whatever. So apparently he shared his feelings, but she wasn't aware of the fact that she was keeping all her feelings in and that she wasn't even aware of them because that's how she grew up just like the man i described before he grew up in a family where feelings were not okay and um, it was very threatening to have any and show it so in both these cases their marriages ended because there was no emotional closeness no intimacy that actually makes the marriage strong and last because you can't keep it going just on partnering over activities or finance or sex or bringing things together. In fact, sex is a barrier to emotional closeness because you don't share any feelings. It's all about doing something that you're supposed to do or making your partner happy or taking care of your biological needs. But it's not about sharing your human experience. And there's so much research out there now that the thing, the one thing that makes relationships fulfilling and meaningful is to talk about the experience together, not just be in the same room or do something in the same uh, place. So imagine 
if you were in the garden with your partner and you were trimming the rose bushes and your partner was digging you got pricked by a thorn and it was painful your partner got backache by digging you're both in pain and that's what connects you it's the intimacy of the moment in the here and now you're together physically you're also together emotionally because you're both experiencing pain and in that moment when you both share you can be open you're not afraid of anything bad happening between you because you're both sharing something you can be mutually understanding empathic and supportive and that's what makes the relationship strong you've created a memory together that's unique to the both of you it's not about earning brownie points about who does the longest gardening or the best pruning or the anything else so what can you do well here's an example i just gave you about sharing your pain actually sharing experiences together do things together whether it's gardening or washing or taking the kids somewhere or going out for a walk together whatever it might be don't just make it an activity a duty a routine a ritual talk about the feelings that's what makes emotional intimacy come alive for you and actually ensure your marriage your relationship your partnership against any outsider there won't be any cheating there won't be any desire for anything else there won't be any lies there won't be any suspicions there won't be any secrets and if you want more information please go to my website now you want me now you don't.com where you will see more videos you get more uh, excerpts from my book now you want me now you don't which tells the story of a couple who was struggling to get emotionally intimate and you learn how i helped them so it's a good blueprint for you you can also um go to my website losangeleswebsitetherapy.com and go to my section on intimacy and emotional intimacy and learn more about it but in the meantime i urge you to do things with your partner and share those emotional experiences don't just make it about brownie points don't just make it about now you want me now you don't looking forward to hearing your experiences and your comments in the comment section below